Youngstown, Ohio. Randall Park Mall. Opened 1976. Closed 2009. Demolished December 2014. With 5,000 employees in a town with a population of 1,500, at the time of its opening in 1976, Randall Park Mall was the world's largest shopping center. From the beginning, this shopping mecca oozed ambition with the motto, much more than everything. In December 2014, it would be reduced to nothing. Our story begins way before the construction of the mall. The Randall Park Racetrack, a legendary horse and auto racing facility, once stood on this land. At the time, North Randall's chief industry was the breeding and training of racehorses. All that changed in 1960. The land was sold to Youngstown shopping center magnate Edward DeBartolo. He wanted to create a city within a city with over 200 shops, apartment building high-rises, and 20-story office buildings. The nearby Garfield Mall project was reduced to a strip mall as the major department stores favored DeBartolo's ideas. There were also concerns that the project would ruin downtown Cleveland. I believe that after today, the forces that want to keep downtown Cleveland intact had better get on their horse and start riding real fast. Soon, the $230 million project was underway. At the opening, more than 5,000 guests were treated to 1,200 pounds of fresh shrimp, crab, and other delicacies, and a show featuring Tommy Dorsey and actress Dina Merrill. In its first year, the mall brought in $140 million in sales and caused other malls to struggle. The tides turned quickly for Randall Park Mall. Only two years after it opened, Upscale Beachwood Place opened to the north, and it was just close enough to lure upscale shoppers to the modernized facility. A crime wave started in the late 70s. The body of a shoe store manager was found on the mall property in a snowbank. A highly publicized race riot didn't help matters, and gang wars in the mall became more common through the mid 80s. shooting in the movie theater lobby and another death associated with the mall marked a period of rapid decline in North Randall. In March of 2009, the doors closed at Randall Park Mall. Once a booming, nationally recognized horse racing destination and home to the largest shopping center in the world, Randall Park Mall's fate was announced in 2014. It would be demolished in December. The story might have ended here, but unknown to many, the Randall Park Mall would have one final story to tell. Welcome to the Ohio Project. you are about to witness are highlights from the final event ever to take place at Randall Park Mall. 300 Lion Claws Mill Sim players will square off in a battle for a building that in less than a month will no longer exist. All right, welcome to top. We got the village of North Randall. Now this mall was the biggest mall in North America uh, before Mall of America. Everybody came around to this mall and it would be a whole day ordeal. You know, you go get something to eat, you go shop, get some shoes for school, see all your friends. You see it now, we're back here. We're kind of excited. It's, it's a little sad to see some of this stuff, but it does work out real good now for us to get the airsoft in and run around like maniacs and have a little fun so you know it's like a dream come true for us really it's gonna be an adventure here this place is a death trap if you're not careful there's a lot of low-hanging stuff here but it's gonna be an adventure water hazards you got uh, low-hanging beams so everybody make sure you have your helmets on uh, 
it is very uh, watch your feet. There's tiles that fell out of the, the ceilings and they're really wet and gooey and slippery. Well, this is more of like walking, uh, you know, walking dead, apocalyptic times. I hope you make it through here. This morning when there was like hardly anybody here and we're walking through and all of a sudden you like hear these noises of like water dripping or there's a noise and you're like, you, go, you turn the flashlight on, you kind of lean in, you're thinking there's going to be a zombie in there. I just, I just know there is. So like if I scream and run, just follow me, okay? coming up on Christmas, we decided just to throw the Christmas decorations back out there. And the other reason is Greg loves Christmas, so there we are, Winter Wonderland of sorts. How cold is it in here? That cold. This is what it's all about, right here. Operation Lion Claws. Ah, the Ohio Project, Task Force 216.